there are multiple settings in YouTube Studio that are preventing you from getting views and making your videos go viral. In this video, I'm going to be showing you which settings to turn on so you can actually start getting views on your video and making them go viral. Before we get into that though, you're probably thinking, what are these analytics I'm currently looking at? These are the analytics for my YouTube channel, Tomo, with over 1 million subscribers. And as you can see, here is the 1 million subscriber plaque for that channel. The first thing you want to do is come to youtube.com slash verify. This will tell you if your phone number is verified on your channel. If it's not, make sure to do that. YouTube will be preventing your channel from being promoted in the recommended because there are thousands of spam accounts that don't verify their channel trying to spam upload content. So to prevent that, YouTube ask for verification through phone number and IDs. And with it being done that way, YouTube can identify which content is actually genuine and which is just bot content. And when you verify your phone number, it tells YouTube that you are an original creator and you're not a bot. This way, your content will start getting recommended and you'll start getting views. Another really important thing you need to do is age your YouTube account. And what exactly do I mean by age your YouTube account? Well, before you start uploading videos, I want you to actually use your account, whether it's just watching YouTube videos or just using it. This tells YouTube that you're not, again, a spam or bot and you're actually genuine and you're just another user wanting to upload content on the platform. It doesn't matter whether it's a week, a month, a year, five years, ten years, you need to age your account before you just start uploading videos. If you make an account and upload on the same day, that video is more than likely not going to get recommended in the algorithm. So before even uploading, make sure to age your account just by using it. Now another key feature you want to turn off on your YouTube channel is telling YouTube that your channel is not made for kids. Now to do that, all you need to do is come down to settings, go to channel, then go to advanced settings. And as you can see here, it will say, do you want to set your channel as made for kids? Make sure to turn this feature on which is no, set this channel as not made for kids. I almost never upload content that's made for kids. If you set this to yes, that means YouTube will not recommend your videos on the browse features. So you won't actually start getting organic traction and organic views on your video. And it doesn't matter if it is or isn't made for kids, setting that feature there, yes, set this channel as made for kids, will suppress your video in the YouTube algorithm. Another key thing you want to do on your channel is make sure your channel is only one type of content. So for example, if your channel is about top five gym fails, make sure to consistently post top five gym fails and not have the next video be a review. Because when you make a new channel and you upload your first video, you have to slowly tell YouTube what type of audience you want watching your videos. And again, that leads us on to the next thing you do, which is having the correct meta data on your videos. This is going to steer your content in front of the right people, giving it the right engagement, meaning you'll have higher watch time, retention, likes, and comments. All of this engagement is extremely important to making your video get more views. So we're currently on the last video I posted on this channel you are watching right now. And I'm going to show you how you can have the correct metadata on your videos. Now, as you can see under my video title, I have suggestions for titles for this video. Now that is not built into the YouTube studio already. That is actually a Chrome extension called vidIQ. And as you can see in the description, there is a link to vidIQ that you can click on and actually download this Chrome extension. So once you click on that link, you want to come over to this website, sign up and then come over to extension. Then you'll install the Google Chrome extension. Once you have that, you'll be able to see the same suggestions tab that I see on my channel. Now, why are we using vidIQ? IQ rather than just using YouTube Studio because vidIQ scans YouTube and tells us what the best ranking titles are for our video. So this is actually going to bypass and save us so much time on wasting or what the title of the video is going to be. So as you can see, we could have why your channel is stuck at zero views, five massive mistakes killing your YouTube growth in 2025, how I went from zero to 1 million subscribers with these changes, watch this before starting a YouTube channel in 2025. 
all very, very good titles. And again, if you input a title in here, it will give you suggestions for other titles below that you can use. So I highly recommend getting this Chrome extension, which leads us on to the next bit of metadata, which is the tags. Now to have the correct tags on your video, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is copy the title. Once you copy the title, paste it into the tags area here, just by doing control V. And then we're gonna come over to the keyword inspector. Now again, this will not be here if you don't have the Chrome extension. If you do have the Chrome extension, this will show. So click keyword inspector, paste your title into here and then click search. And then this is going to give us all of the top ranking tags based on our title, which is going to help us rank better in the searches on YouTube. So again, I'm going to add YouTube growth, no views on YouTube, YouTube watch hours, no subscribers on YouTube, and I'll save that. And they're all top ranking keywords for our video, which are help us get ranked on the YouTube search. The top link in the description will take you to YT Blueprint. This is a full course from front to back on exactly how I grew my channels from zero to 1 million subscribers. And again, that's with the top link in the description if you want to learn more.